It was on one of his frequent trips to the desert heat of Las Vegas that Michael Jackson first met Dr. Conrad Murray. When one of the star's children fell ill, the doctor was recommended. He had a practice on the edge of town, Global Cardiovascular Associates, which was thriving. And I trusted him. I trusted him with my life, and I still do. I still would. Donna De Luca De Giacomo was his patient for three and a half years. She's passionate in his defense. He's not a mean man. Please, people, don't not judge this man. He is a beautiful person. He would not intentionally harm anyone. He wouldn't. He wouldn't hurt a fly. And uh, if this, if something happened there, it was accidental. It was Michael Jackson was involved and asked for whatever he was given. Sky News has seen the letter Dr. Murray sent to his patients when he'd been hired by Michael Jackson. He told them he was deeply sorry for ceasing his practice indefinitely, but called it a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Just ten days after this letter was sent, Jackson was dead, a lethal mix of prescription drugs in his system. It's thought Dr. Murray is living behind tight security on this Vegas estate. This YouTube video, his only public statement. I have done all I could do. I told the truth, and I have faith the truth will prevail. But today, attention will focus away from those criminal and federal investigations to Forest Lawn Glendale, the cemetery where Michael Jackson's funeral will take place. Later this evening, his casket will be brought here for a private service attended by his family and friends. He'll be interred in this mausoleum, the centerpiece of the 300-acre park where many of LA's most famous celebrities have been buried. Jackson's remains will lie a few feet from those of Clark Gable and his wife, Carol Lombard. The roads around the cemetery will be blocked. Richard Vonks worked at a florist across the street for half a century. He says the preparations dwarf those he's witnessed for other stars. One that I remember going by here was... Uh... Uh, Sammy Davis Jr. and his procession came right by and went around the corner and cars and everybody was just going on their own like a uh, regular day. <laughs> so ten weeks after his death Michael Jackson will make his final journey later today but the questions surrounding his death won't be buried with him. Robert Nisbet, Sky News, Glendale.